Now, look, I think we've probably all been here before where it's like, oh man, I wish I had said something else or, oh, I left something out I meant to do. Or, hey, look, I did a video once <laughs> where I had a big hairball hanging off my beard and I didn't even find it out till somebody commented on it about a year later in the comments. The question I see a lot is, can I just do a new video and replace that video on YouTube? Here's the short answer, you ready? No, but, 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 but wait a minute, wait a minute. There are some things you can do. The first thing is you could edit it. So depending on what it is that you want to change in the video, go to the YouTube editor and make the changes. Here's how you find it. So you go to the video that you want to make the edit on and you scroll all the way down here and you'll see editor and that opens up the YouTube editor. So the editor is for each video, right? And you have these options, trim and cut, blur, audio, even in screen and info card. So whatever you wanna do, if you trim and cut, you can do that and you notice it will literally slide. It's a little like iMovie if you're used to iMovie. You can discard or hit save. Now this is important. You wanna read this to make sure you save the changes. Viewers will see the current version of the video and you won't be able to make other changes to the video, but the original version of the video will be stored that you can undo later. So it's not like you couldn't get it back if you wanted to, but that's using the YouTube editor. Another idea is just shoot a new version of the video and correct or, or add whatever it is you left out that you felt like you needed to have in there upload it and make the old version unlisted. Now, if you do that, it's a brand new video. So that means the stats from the other one won't count anymore. So just keep that in mind. But that is another way of doing it if you feel like you absolutely have to. Another idea is still to do a new version of the video, but let the old one go. The mistake I think we make, and, and I do this a lot, is that we feel like everybody has seen everything we've done. I mean, just this week, I had a comment on a video I did, you, you ready for this? Four years ago that somebody just saw it, just commented on something, and it was kind of cool because it had affiliate links too. So again, if you feel like you have to, just produce a new one, upload it, change the title, maybe give it a little different spin, add some inf different information, but just leave the old one and just see what happens. The reality of it is not everyone sees everything we do. So just roll with it, learn from it, and spend that energy producing something new. So if you got value out of this, consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel too for a lot more like this. And while we're talking about replacing videos, another question I see a lot is, should I delete my videos? And the answer is, to watch this video on the screen because I go into that and share some thoughts that I don't know if a lot of people are really talking about. So check that out. Let me know what you think. And in the meantime, keep creating because the world needs you. See you next time.